Hey guys, welcome to Talk About Tatooine, the second episode of our Baja Blast series. We're trying out making a Baja Blast with rum this time instead of our whiskey. Let's go ahead and try to make it. Let's get into it. We're gonna start with the rocks glass. Add two ounces of white rum. Throw that into your glass. Next up, grab your lime juice. Add a generous amount. Here, we're using about 1.5 ounces. Next up, we're gonna add about four ounces of our Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Add a large ice cube. Finish with three dashes of orange bitters. All right, guys, so we just went through the making portion. This already looks so much better when we make it with rum rather than with whiskey. I mean, you get this really dark amber color in there and it just makes a really gross color. So right off the bat, this Baja Blast and Rum is so much more appealing to the eyes. We added a lot of lime juice in this, a little bit too much. We'll probably have to make it again with less lime juice. <laughs> Folks, let's do this again and let's take out a little bit of the lime juice and let's add a slice of lime for a little bit of garnish as well. Let's go at it. Folks, let's do this again and let's take out a little bit of the lime juice and let's add a slice of lime for a little bit of garnish as well. Let's go at it. Now we're moving into our second try for the Baja Blaster. We're gonna start with another rocks glass. Add our ice cube, take our half amount of lime, so about three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, being careful not to over pour here, and adding that right over my ice. We're then going to add the same amount of rum, about two ounces, poured right into our rocks glass. Let's make sure to hit it with the same amount of bitters, about three dashes, a little bit extra got in there. Then we're gonna hit this with about four ounces of Mountain Dew Baja Blast. There's the first, admire the color, there's the second. Get that cap off my cutting board because nobody likes a dirty workstation. Let's make this a little bit nicer. Let's get a lime wheel for garnish. Make a little slit in your lime wheel and that'll go right on the edge of your rocks glass. Let's see how this one turns out. All right, folks, we are taking a look at the second iteration of the rum and Baja Blast and We've changed it up a little bit. So we halved the amount of lime juice in it. So only three quarters of an ounce. We did add a little bit of a lime wheel for a little bit of garnish because it actually does look a lot better now. Same amount of Mountain Dew, four ounces, two ounces of rum and a little bit of orange bitters. So let's see how it is. Cheers. It's still pretty citrusy. Now see, the funny thing is, is when I made the Baja Blasky, it was way too sweet. Even with two full ounces of whiskey in there, which is way too sweet. This is not bad though. This is a lot more subdued. I bet if we add just a little bit more to this, we could dial in that sweetness to right where we want it to be. Keep in mind guys, Mountain Dew is basically whatever color blue this is, flavored corn syrup. So keep that in mind. That's so much better. So that probably comes out to like closer to five or six ounces of Baja Blast in the overall mix. Much better than just the four ounces in a neutral spirit and a clear spirit is really helping with the color here. This is way more appetizing to look at. So, so, so much better. I'm a big fan of this. I think the first one we gave a pretty low score to. Um, I think the uh, when we did this with whiskey, I should say. The first iteration, almost undrinkable. Um, way too much lime juice. I would have to double almost everything in there to make this potable. Uh, and then that would probably get me really toasty by the end of the night, and it's a Tuesday. This one, I would probably give a six out of 10. The extra orange, the extra lime, really cut down on the sweetness here. The color's way better with the white rum in it. I think this is a good one. You guys should try this out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And we're gonna just keep making drinks here, guys. We're gonna have a fun time. This has been the Talk About Tatooine Cantina. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for stopping by.